Mastering FMI for Beginners FMI is the secret to operational excellence. Which quality management tool, specifically FMIA, plays a critical role in achieving operational excellence, and what are its key components that drive this pursuit of excellence? Failure Mode and Effects Analysis FMEA, is a powerful quality management tool that plays a vital role in achieving operational excellence. It is a proactive, systematic approach to identify, evaluate, and mitigate potential failures in products, processes, and services, thereby ensuring reliability, efficiency, and effectiveness. In the pursuit of operational excellence, FMIA is a critical component that helps organizations minimize defects, reduce waste, and optimize resources. By applying FMIA, organizations can anticipate and address potential failures, reducing the likelihood of errors, rework, and customer complaints. This leads to improved product quality, increased customer satisfaction, and enhanced reputational integrity. The key components of FMIA that drive operational excellence are 1. System boundaries, defining the scope and boundaries of the process, product, or service under analysis. This ensures that all relevant aspects are considered and enables a comprehensive understanding of the system. 2. Functional requirements, identifying the essential functions and performance requirements of the system, process, or product. This helps to clarify expectations and ensure that all stakeholders are aligned. 3. Potential failure modes, brainstorming and listing all possible failure modes, including defects, errors, and deviations that could occur during the design, development, production, or delivery of the system, process, or product. 4. Effects of failure, evaluating the impact of each potential failure mode on the system, process, or product, as well as on customers, stakeholders, and the environment. This includes estimating the severity, occurrence, and detectability of each failure mode. 5. Risk Priority Number RPN, calculating the RPN for each failure mode by multiplying the severity, occurrence, and detectability scores. This prioritizes the most critical failure modes that require mitigation and remedial actions. 6. Recommended Actions Developing and implementing corrective actions, design changes, or process improvements to mitigate or eliminate high RPN failure modes. This may involve design modifications, process re-engineering, or training and education for personnel. 7. Verification and Validation validating the effectiveness of recommended actions and verifying that they have been successfully implemented. This ensures that the desired outcomes are achieved and that the process or product meets the required standards. 8. Document and communicate. Documenting FMIA findings, actions, and results and communicating them to relevant stakeholders, including customers, suppliers, and internal teams. This ensures transparency, accountability, and continuous improvement. By incorporating these key components, FMIA enables organizations to proactively identify and mitigate potential failures, driving operational excellence through improved product quality and reliability, reduced defects, rework, and waste, enhanced customer satisfaction and loyalty, increased efficiency and productivity, Optimized resource allocation and utilization. Better decision-making and risk management. Culture of continuous improvement and innovation. In conclusion, FMIA is a powerful tool for achieving operational excellence by proactively identifying and mitigating potential failures, ensuring reliability, efficiency, and effectiveness in products, processes, and services. By incorporating the key components of FMIA, organizations can drive continuous improvement, enhance customer satisfaction, and optimize resources, ultimately leading to sustained operational excellence. The pursuit of operational excellence, it's a journey that requires a deep understanding of the processes that make our organizations tick. As I delve into the world of FEMIA, I'm reminded of a particularly illuminating experience 
that helped me grasp its significance. I recall a visit to a manufacturing facility where I witnessed a team of engineers and production staff working in harmony to identify and mitigate potential failures in their production line. They were employing FMIA, and I was fascinated by the structured approach they took to analyze their processes. As I observed their discussions, I realized that FMIA was not just a methodology, but a mindset shift that enabled teams to think proactively and creatively. Let's dive into the practical aspects of FMIA, shall we? In essence, FMIA is a systematic approach to evaluating potential failures in a process and prioritizing efforts to mitigate or eliminate them. The process begins with identifying the functions of a particular product or service, followed by a thorough analysis of potential failures, their effects, and the likelihood of occurrence. One of the most critical components of FMIA is the scoring system, which enables teams to prioritize potential failures based on their severity, occurrence, and detectability. This scoring system is instrumental in focusing efforts on the most critical areas, ensuring that resources are allocated efficiently. During my visit, I noticed that the team was utilizing a scoring system that took into account three key factors, the severity of the failure, the likelihood of its occurrence, and the ability to detect it. This scoring system allowed them to prioritize potential failures and direct their efforts towards mitigating the most critical ones. As I observed the team's discussion, I was struck by the creativity and playfulness with which they approached the FMIA process. They were not just going through the motions, they were fully engaged, using their intuition to identify potential failures and brainstorm solutions. It was a truly collaborative effort, with each team member bringing their unique perspective to the table. One of the team members, an engineer with years of experience, mentioned that FMEA had helped them identify a potential failure in their production line that could have resulted in significant downtime and financial losses. By addressing this failure proactively, they were able to avoid a major crisis and implement a solution that improved overall efficiency. As I continued to observe the team's process, I realized that FMEA was not just about identifying and mitigating failures, it was about cultivating a culture of operational excellence. By empowering teams to think critically and creatively, FMIA encourages a mindset shift towards proactive problem solving and continuous improvement. The FMIA process is not a one-time event, it's a continuous cycle of improvement that requires regular monitoring and evaluation. As the team's facilitator aptly put it, FMIA is not a destination, it's a journey. This journey requires dedication, persistence, and a willingness to learn from mistakes. As I left the facility, I couldn't help but think about the broader implications of FMEA. It's not just a tool for operational excellence, it's a philosophy that can be applied to various aspects of life. By embracing a mindset of proactive problem solving, we can cultivate a sense of purpose and direction that extends far beyond the realm of operational excellence. In conclusion, FMIA is a powerful tool that can help organizations achieve operational excellence by identifying and mitigating potential failures. By embracing a culture of creativity, collaboration, and critical thinking, we can unlock the full potential of FME and drive continuous improvement in our organizations. As we embark on this journey, let's remember to stay curious, stay open-minded, and above all, stay committed to the pursuit of excellence.